Today, I just wanted to do a really, really brief overview of how you can use the new MIDI effects functionality that's found in Main Stage 3.3. Uh, there's a whole lot of new features here and tons of applications. So I have a longer form video that digs into more uh, specifics about it, but I wanted to do something quick just to demonstrate how you can begin to experiment with it. So I've got a basic pad channel strip. And the two main plugins that have been given new functionality are the modifier and the modulator. So the modifier looks like this, and the modulator looks like this. I'm going to leave these two open so that you can see what they are doing in real time. Now, the modifier effect used to allow you to just grab any MIDI input event like velocity or mod wheel expression, whatever, and reassign it to any other uh, MIDI CC event, which was useful. Uh, but now you are able to reassign any input event. So for example, your mod wheel, you can reassign it to any plugin parameter. You just scroll up here and hit learn plugin parameter. And then you open any plugin on the same channel strip and you just click on what you'd like it to be mapped to or assigned to. So now when I click on wet, you see it says reassign to silver verb. Now when I bring my mod wheel up, the wet of the silver verb goes up as well. So that's pretty cool. You have scale options. So if you only want it to go up to 50%, then just set the scale to 50%. And these numbers don't precisely correlate, but it's ballpark. Uh, you can also set the minimum value using the add. So if we set the add about 50%, then it'll only go down uh, to 50% when I use the mod wheel. Not as precise as the transform controls available in the channel strip inspector for on-screen mappings, but still pretty darn close. You can also invert this range by setting the add all the way up and then setting your scale to a negative value. So now my mod wheel's all the way down, my wet is most of the way up, it doesn't seem to go up to 100%, but it's pretty darn close, 99%. Uh, and then as I bring it up, the scale uh, brings the wet down. And you could set the uh, scale to negative 50 if you only wanted it to go down halfway. If you wanted it to start about 50, you could go there. And you can see how that kind of moves things around. Uh, so really cool uh, possibilities. I've done things like map my sustain pedal to the hold function within the tape delay, which is really awesome. So I'm gonna go here and say learn plugin parameter, and then I'm gonna click on freeze. I'm gonna set this at 100%, set that at zero. And now I can play something. And then when I engage my sustain pedal, it will just hold that right there, which is really cool. So that's something you weren't able to do before. Now I'm going to talk about the modulator really quick. The modulator gives you both an LFO and an envelope. So you're basically treating this now as like a any you can matrix basically anything on a channel strip. So I'm going to start by turning this on. The LFO section used to just allow you to modulate any MIDI CC, but now you can actually modulate any plugin parameter. So just to make it simple, again, you click on it and you select Learn Plugin Parameter. I am just going to modulate, uh, let's see, let's do the rate of the modulation. So you can see now. It's modulating that automatically, and you can adjust the rate. You can adjust the, the form, the symmetry, what triggers it, how smooth it is, all sorts of stuff. Just like an LFO within an instrument plugin, you can now apply an LFO to any uh, mappable parameter on that ch same channel strip, which is just really cool. Uh, and then you can do the same thing, but with an envelope uh, as uh, your control source. So I'm going to 
go here and I'm going to hit learn plugin parameter and I'm going to map it to the wet of my silver verb. So now you have ADSR control over how that wet output is uh, interacting with your playing. So you can set how long it holds, how long it releases. And then it starts to trickle down, which is really awesome. Uh, you can set the output level to set the max that it goes up to. If you only want it to go up to 34 or whatever, you can see how that's controlling it. And then if you want it to have a minimum value, then you can use the offset uh, to make sure it only goes down to, you know, whatever I got, 48%, so it's only going down to 48. So you could use this to bring in or out dirt, compression, EQ, uh, high pass, low pass, anything that you can map in main stage at the channel strip level, you can now modulate via the LFO or the envelope in the modulator MIDI effect, or you can attach it to uh, MIDI input via the modifier. So really cool new functionality. Uh, if you want to see more, the long form, long form, long form, video, form video examples uh, that I've come up with so far, you can check that out. I'll have a link to it in the video description once that video is released. If you have any ideas about using these new effects or questions, just leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.